Hey, what's up everybody? It's John with We The Lawn Care People. I'm out here today. It's about 93 degrees with a real fill of 98 here in Pennsylvania. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a over brief overview of my new mower. Um, I kind of snaked you guys last time on whether or not I was gonna get a new mower. Um, I already knew I was getting one. I had to. Um, obviously, it kind of runs the business, so no mower means no, no business. Um, I have customers that need their grass cut and they can't wait for me to get for two weeks for the um, X mark which is currently in the garage to get fixed so I'm gonna go ahead and give you a brief overview of my new turf tiger 2 uh, skag lawnmower all right here she is in all of her glory it's a 2021 skag turf tiger 2 it has the 61 inch Velocity Plus deck. Um, I must say, I mowed my grass um, not that long ago, and you can still somewhat see the stripes. It's been about four days. Um, this thing stripes like no other. Um, it also helps that it has a 37 horsepower uh, Vanguard. Obviously, EFI. Um, I wanted to get something that was good on gas, so this was the mower for that. Like I said, 61 inch cut path. Um, it does have um, the upgraded seat. So the seat is basically based off of the, um, based off the suspension, which you can set here on the front to your weight. And it'll actually get smoother or harder based on your weight. Um, this mower does come with the um it does come with the tiger eye system so there's a tiger eye system here um basically i only use this gauge here that gauge and that gauge is for the diesel units um obviously here's your your throttle um obviously you don't have a choke on this uh due to the fact that it's efi so this is uh, four indicator lights. If all four of them are lit up, then that means you'll be able to start the mower. Um, this is the PTO switch to turn it on and off. So everything's within arm's reach, which is a good thing. Um, it does have a 12 volt plug back here if you wanted to charge something. So here is the deck adjustment. You pretty much just pull the pin out, set it to whatever you want. I usually cut it three and a quarter or three and a half. You press this pedal here, pull this black handle back, and then it drops it down to the desired height of cut. So to lock it back, you just push it forward and it'll lock. Uh, with the brake, to undo the brake, you just push the brake forward and it releases this handle here and drops it down. So now that there's no, it's not, there's no brake on it. If I were to push this forward, I would have to come back here and, and pull this handle and let go of the brake. And then now the parking brake is on. Um, I don't like that. I kind of wish it was like a, a touch and go. Like you just push it forward until it locks and then you push it forward until it unlocks. Unfortunately, you still have to have two points of contact, push the brake down and then pull, the, pull this black lever back. Um, another thing I don't like is how it has um, the Tiger Eye system the advanced monitoring system and they give you a fuel gauge on the side of the mower they have all this space over here all this space on this tiger eye system that they could have easily have put a fuel gauge but they still decided to go old-fashioned with the floater um, I'm not a big fan of that uh, other than that that's pretty much a, a brief overview of the mower um, as of right now I do have 5.8 hours on the mower itself. Um, I must say I do like it. Uh, it does have the bigger, beefier uh, tires on it. So the tires are a lot beefier. Um, the back is very, so the good thing about this is you undo these two clamps here and then this actually opens up to get to your belts. So 
so you don't have to tear everything apart to get to your belts. They're all right there. And then just to lock it back, you just obviously clip it down, clip down, and that's all said and done. So now um, you're supposed to change the oil after 10 hours of operation. I'm at six, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get it uh, get it knocked out now um, before I go over that uh, amount of hours. Um, I'd rather do it sooner than later. Obviously, it's a Vanguard engine. So with that engine, I went ahead and got Vanguard products. 15W50 is what I got. Vanguard uh, brand. Um, I did get a Briggs & Stratton. So... Uh, me and, uh, me and Briggs are going to have to have a conversation about their engineering design on this motor. Because let me tell you, I'm doing my first time oil change six hours on the, on the engine itself. And this thing is so hard to change the oil on. So I don't know if you can see it or not. But there's literally, right here, right there, you have to unscrew that. And it opens up the oil coming out. But guess what? Right here is where the filter goes. So first things first, you got to remove the oil filter to be able to get to this to untwist it. So on the X mark, this actually had a hose coming off of it to where it was easy to access to be able to go ahead and do the oil change, take the oil out of the engine. This one, I got to remove the filter first. To be able to get access to the plug itself so not too happy with a real fuel of up near 100 degrees today i'm literally drenched in my own sweat my shirt is sticking to me um i am rocking the vanguard products so right there vanguard that's the stuff they gave me for free when i went and purchased this lawnmower but i'll give you an update once i'm done um obviously new oil filter fresh vanguard oil um get this thing right but yeah i'm literally like the sweat is beating up and dripping down my head it's hot <laughs> got the mower all buttoned back up again got the uh, oil back in the engine so everything's fresh got the new filter in there right there made sure that that uh, plug down there was tight um, the dealership told me that this engine takes three quarts of oil well I read the owner's manual and the manual for the engine and it only calls for 2.3 uh, quarts so hopefully it's not overfilled um, I'm gonna start it up let it run for a little while and then check the uh, check the level again once it gets into the filter but thanks for tuning in I appreciate it make sure to subscribe to the channel uh, give the video a like let me know people are watching um, other than that, I hope you guys have a good week. Um, make sure you guys stay hydrated. It's hot over here on the east side of the United States, so I'm still drenched in sweat. Um, other than that, I hope you guys have a good week. Thank you.